In October of this year, 2021, we're going to celebrate the 25th anniversary of the Bales Organ Recital Hall. It's a very special facility, but of, of course nothing would have been possible without the generosity of Polly and Dane Bales of Logan, Kansas. Very, very special people. Uh, it, it definitely, in no uncertain terms, shows the importance of private money to a public university. With, without these don donations and without their vision, it wouldn't be possible because actually the hall and the organ were the vision of the Bales. We just carried it out for them. Uh, they lived long enough to enjoy the hall uh, and and we loved it when they when, when they came to visit. The actual history of the hall is uh, dates back to when Polly was an organ student. The organ was in Hoke Auditorium, which was also the home of the KU basketball team. And the basketball team and the organist had to practice on the same court in Hoke Auditorium at the same time. And Polly remembers that in order to protect the organist, there was this great big screen placed around the organ console so that when the basketball team was practicing, uh, the organist wouldn't get hit with uh, basketballs. And at the time, she thought, you know, I bet you we can do better than that. Uh, and she had, so she had this in, in her mind. And we were able to fulfill their uh, wishes with this just spectacular hall. Uh, it's unique uh, in the entire world, actually, in the way it was built. It was the, we hired the organ builder first, Helmut Wolf of Laval, Montreal, Canada. Then we hired Robert Mahoney as our acoustician. And finally, we interviewed architects. The entire facility, the organ, the organ hall grew up together. That's never happened before. Usually a hall is built and an organ is put in it. So it's unique in that way. We use it 24-7, 365. Uh, we, we attract the, really the finest organ students in the world, one of which, whom is going to play for us today, Andrew Morris, who is a graduate student. He's going to play uh, a piece by a French composer, Thierry S. Cache, who was actually, and the composer has actually been here in the hall himself, and, and he loved it. Uh, currently, the organist of Notre Dame Cathedral, Olivier Latry, is on our faculty due to uh, the generosity of the Kemper Foundation of Kansas City, another example of the importance of private money to a public university. And without the generosity of the Bales, the Kempers, and, and many other people, we wouldn't be here doing this. The students wouldn't have this kind of facility. Uh, it would, it would just be impossible. So we are glad to have people come. I'm glad to give tours of the facility anytime you want. I'm glad to talk to you about it. Polly and Dane loved it so much, and they, they, they were so proud of this that they would drive all the way from Logan to talk to people about the hall. They were, they were so happy with the result. So we'll let Andrew play now, and uh, please, Feel free to stop in at the Bales Organ Recital Hall anytime you wish. Uh, it seems like I'm here 24-7, not actually, but uh, we're, we'll always uh, welcome visitors. You can come and listen, you can ask questions, but uh, we, we would like to share our facility with as many people as possible.